Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about my Starbucks cashback stacking strategy. So if you're not familiar with cashback stacking strategies, essentially what a cashback stacking strategy is, is something that allows you to earn cashback from multiple levels. It usually starts off with a combination of a cashback credit card as well as multiple cashback apps. And so today I'm going to talk about my cashback stacking strategy for when I go to Starbucks. And so in the FIRE community, many people usually bring up Starbucks as one thing that you should take out of your budget or you know one place where you shouldn't spend your money because it is very expensive to go to Starbucks. Typically you're going to spend at least five to six dollars on pretty much any item that you buy at Starbucks. But if you really like Starbucks or you really like their coffee or their tea or you know maybe even some of their bakery items, then you know if you can afford it, then you should be able to go to Starbucks or whatever food place or restaurant that you want to go to. However, no matter where you go, what store you go to, what coffee shop, there are different ways where you can either save money on your purchases or get money back. And using cashback apps and a cashback stacking strategy is one way that you can actually reward yourself for some of the places that you shop at. And so I actually have a four level cashback stacking strategy that I use at Starbucks and I'll go through those levels today. And so with the first level, I always start off with a cashback credit card. Now with a cashback credit card, you should be able to get at minimum 1% cashback no matter where you shop. And depending on the type of credit card you have, you may actually get a bonus for shopping at places like Starbucks or just shopping at any restaurant in general. And so personally, I usually use my Costco credit card because with the Costco cashback card, you get 3% cashback whenever you shop at a restaurant. And so Starbucks is considered a restaurant. And so whenever I use my card to make purchases at Starbucks, then I get 3% cashback on all of my purchases. But most cashback credit cards, even if you don't have have that special category, you should be able to get anywhere between one to 2% cashback if you were to use a cashback credit card on all of your purchases, or in this case, whenever you go to Starbucks. So make sure if you don't already have a credit card that offers cashback, you check out the different options that are available in order to earn cashback. Another card that I use also from Citibank is the City Double Cash Card. Now with this cashback card, you get 2% cashback on all of your purchases. It doesn't matter what the specific category is. You get 1% as soon as you make the purchase. And then as soon as you make the payment on your credit card, you get another 1% cashback, essentially turning it into a 2% cashback card on every purchase. And so in the comments below, if you have a cashback card that does give you a special category for Starbucks or a category for restaurants that gives you over 2% or maybe over 3 or 4%, let us know down in the comments below. All right, so the next level is level two, and this is where we start to get into the different cashback apps that you can use. And the first app that I'll talk about in my level two of my cashback stacking strategy for Starbucks is the Bumped app. Now the Bumped app is a cashback app where you actually earn stock with all of your purchases. And so there are specific stores that you can make purchases with within the Bumped app where you can earn cashback. And then the cashback that you earn is then used to purchase stock in the company that you actually shopped with. And so in the Bumped app, and they actually changed this recently, in the past you only had the option to get cash back in the specific loyalty categories. One of those categories is coffee shops. And within that category, I have Starbucks as the option that I choose. But you can also earn cash back in different ways. I actually did an update video to talk about the changes that they've made in the Bumped app. And I'll have a link above to that video so you can check that out. But for this specific cashback stacking strategy, you would need to choose Starbucks in that specific category in order to earn the stock back within the Bumped app. And so that means if you also buy coffee from maybe let's say a Caribou Coffee or Dunkin' Donuts, then you, would, you wouldn't be able to get cash back with those stores because Starbucks would be the store that you choose for this specific cash back stacking strategy. And so like I mentioned, you'll get 1% cash back on all of your purchases that you make at Starbucks. As long as the credit card that you're using in this first level of this cash back stacking strategy is also linked to the Bump app, then that means you'll get cash back not only from the credit card, but you'll also get cash back through the Bump app because it will recognize the purchases that you made at Starbucks. And so now if you think about how much money you spend at Starbucks, 
I would imagine that if you are a regular Starbucks user, you probably spend over $100 or maybe even over $500 a year just on Starbucks. You could be getting one to $5 cash back in the form of Starbucks stocks every year if you were to use this strategy. Now, there are some people that go to Starbucks every day. And so if we even just use $5 per day and you went to Starbucks on an average of four times per week, every week of the year, that means you would be spending $1,040 per year only at Starbucks. And yes, I know there are people that actually do this who probably go every day, probably more than four times a day, and they're probably spending more than $5 a day at Starbucks. So this is actually normal for some people, not for me personally. And so if you were a person that were to spend over $1,000 per year, or in this case, in this example, $1,040, that means with that 1% cash back rate that you're getting by using the Bumped app, you will receive $10.40 worth of Starbucks stock every year just based on your purchases at Starbucks. And there are other stores in the Bumped app where you can receive this loyalty cash back in the form of stock as well. And so make sure you check out my review of the Bumped app that I did in the past. But just imagine that you could essentially earn free stock in the place that you shop at all the time, every week, just by making your normal purchases and then linking whatever credit card, whatever cashback credit card that you used to the Bumped app so that you can get that 1% stock back for your purchases. All right, so now we move on to level three and level three of this cashback stacking strategy is using the Dosh app. Now the Dosh app just recently added Starbucks as an option for cashback and you can actually earn instant cashback whenever you link your cashback credit card to your Dosh app. You can also link a debit card, but if you were to link a debit card, then you wouldn't be able to use the other levels of this cashback stacking strategy. So make sure you use a credit card, specifically a cashback credit card. And so as I mentioned, all you need to do is link your credit card that you're gonna use at Starbucks. You link it to the Dosh app, and then every time you go to Starbucks, you're gonna earn 5% cashback on your purchases. And I'll have a link provided below in the description so that you can use that referral link to join Dosh. Now, level four of this cashback stacking strategy is actually Starbucks points. Now you can receive Starbucks points by joining the Starbucks rewards program. If you're a person that already uses the Starbucks app to make your purchases, then you've already joined the Starbucks rewards program. And so you may already know, but if you don't, for every purchase that you make within the Starbucks app, you actually receive two points for every dollar that you spend. And so while these are Starbucks points that you can only use at Starbucks, it's essentially like earning cash back because you can use these points to then get free items or to lower the cost of some of your purchases at Starbucks. And so as I mentioned, for every dollar that you spend, when you make a purchase within the Starbucks app, you receive two stars. And for every 150 stars that you receive, you actually get a free handcrafted beverage. And as I mentioned, the average drink at Starbucks is between five to six, maybe $7. And in order to earn 150 stars, the maximum you will need to spend at Starbucks is $75. And based on that rate, if you were to get a $5 drink for free after spending $75, that means you're getting about a 6% cash back based on the reward points that you're earning. And the reason that I say the max you would have to spend is $75 is because within the Starbucks app, you can actually do some of the different offers that they have within the app to earn more than just two stars per dollar spent whenever you make purchases in the Starbucks app. So at the time that I was preparing for this video, I actually had an offer for a 75 point bonus within the Starbucks app. And in order to earn that bonus, all I needed to do was make two purchases before 11 a.m. of a specific type of beverage. And usually when they have the offers, the item that you're gonna buy is usually something that you already buy or something that you normally purchase on a regular basis. And sometimes it'll be something, maybe a new drink that they just came out with and they want you to try it and then hopefully maybe continue to buy that same drink over and over. And so most of the time that I go to Starbucks, I order a grande white chocolate mocha and I substitute coconut milk for regular milk. And I don't do whipped cream, so no whipped cream. I know people are gonna think I'm crazy whenever I say that, but I don't like whipped cream. And so after taxes, this normally costs $6.02. So on a typical purchase, I would earn 12 stars for those individual purchases. And in this specific offer, I would have to have three purchases before 11 a.m. That means I would spend $18.06 in order to earn 75 bonus stars. 
And those 75 bonus stars would be in addition to the 36 stars that I earn by spending $18 times two, which would give me the 36 stars, which now gives me a total of 111 stars earned on that $18 purchase. Now, without the bonus stars, in order to earn 111 stars based on my regular purchases, I would need to spend a maximum of $55 if I don't have any bonuses. And it's just based on that normal two point per $1 rate. And so instead of spending $55, I only had to spend $18 for these purchases. And so if you were to count these points as essentially cash back, I'm essentially getting a 4% cash back on this specific offer by using the offers and actually meeting the criteria to get those bonus stars. Once you include the bonus stars, I'm getting about a 12% cash back return on my purchases. And so if you're a really committed coffee drinker and you go to Starbucks on a regular basis, going after those offers, especially the ones that are items that you would have purchased anyway, they're things that you like, using those offers is a great way to increase the cash back rate essentially, or the points that you receive on your regular purchases at Starbucks. And so whenever I have those offers, and if it's an offer that I know I'm gonna meet because you know maybe I'm traveling and I'm probably gonna go to Starbucks more often than I would if I was at home and actually making coffee for myself, then definitely make sure that you take advantage of any of the offers that come up in the Starbucks app because that will increase the amount of cash back that you earn on every purchase, thus increasing the amount of cash back in this cash back stacking strategy. And so previously there actually used to be a level five in this cashback stacking strategy, but at the time that I was actually preparing for this video, up to the point that I actually recorded the video, a few of the options for this cashback stacking strategy are no longer available. And so the fifth level was actually the Bits of Stock app. And the Bits of Stock app was just like level two, which was the bumped app where you can actually earn stock as your cashback reward. And so whenever you made a purchase at Starbucks or at many of the other stores available in the Bits of Stock app, you would get half a percent cash back on all of your purchases. And then that cash back would be used to buy stock in Starbucks. And so while Starbucks currently is not an option because they've recently updated their app and they've changed some of the stores, it may be an option in the future. And so you may still wanna check out the Bits of Stock app. And I'll be doing a review of the Bits of Stock app very soon because there have been a lot of changes in the Bits of Stock app compared to the last review that I did. But I already have a link and a review of that app if you wanna check out the old review. In the near future, I plan to do a review of the Bits of Stock app to go over those updates. And so the other cashback option, which actually wouldn't have been part of the stack, but it was a way that you could earn actually up to 35% cashback on your purchases at Starbucks was the Flues app. And now the Flues app was actually a great way for me personally when I thought of using the Flues app instead of this normal cashback stacking strategy, I limited my purchases at Starbucks, but I increased the per purchase cashback up to 35%. And this is how I did it. If you're not familiar, I actually have a review of the Flues app so you can go and learn more about it and how their cashback works as well. But with the Flues app, whenever you invite someone to the Flues app, whenever they click your referral link, they would actually receive three 35% vouchers to use at specific stores within the Flues app. And as a reward for inviting you to use the Flues app, I would receive one 35% voucher. And so unless you're inviting someone every day, of course you wouldn't be able to get 35% cash back from Starbucks every day using the Flues app. And because of that, I would only actually buy Starbucks whenever I had a 35% a voucher with the Flues app. And so how the Flues app works is essentially you would use the Flues app to buy a gift card to Starbucks. And so for up to $10 purchase of gift cards in the Flues app, you could get 35% cash back in addition to the normal cash back, which I believe was either one or 2% at that time. And so that means for every $10 gift card that I bought, using the voucher within the Flues app, I was getting $3.50 back from that voucher for my Starbucks gift card purchase. And then I would use that Starbucks gift card to now load within the Starbucks app. And whenever you load a gift card in the Starbucks app, you still get that two stars per dollar purchase. But in this case, instead of using your credit card, you're using a gift card to get those two stars per dollar. And so now once you add the stars that you're gonna earn within the Starbucks app, which I consider cash back as well, you're getting close to 40 or more percent cash back with your Flues and your Starbucks app 
stacking strategy. Unfortunately, at the moment, Starbucks is currently not an option within the Flues app. But as I mentioned, the Flues app and the Bits of Stock app were options in the past before Dosh added the option to get cash back from Starbucks. And so I'm assuming because those things happen around the same time that Starbucks probably has a relationship with specific apps. And so once it was removed from those apps, it was then made available within the Dosh app. And so that could change in the future as well. So make sure you keep an eye out on those two apps while you can't get cash back through Starbucks currently and it can't be part of your cashback stacking strategy, it may become available in the future. And so despite those two options being removed as far as a option where you can earn cashback in Starbucks, as I mentioned, my four level cashback stacking strategy, which consists of a cashback credit card where you can earn between one up to three or more percent, depending on what credit card you use. You can then use the Bumped app to earn an additional 1% cashback, which is used to purchase stock. Then with the Dosh app, you can earn 5% cash back whenever you use that same credit card at Starbucks. And then if you use that same credit card to load money into your Starbucks app, you can earn additional money through the stars, which is essentially cash back. And then using those different offers within the Starbucks app to earn even more stars for every purchase that you make at Starbucks. And so if you're not already getting an average of at least 8%, which could be as high as up to 40% with some of those offers, as well as with the Flues app, which is currently not an option. And so with this cashback stacking strategy, you should be able to earn at least 8% cashback with all of your purchase at Starbucks. And that'll help cushion some of the blow of the money that you may be spending, especially if you're a person that buys Starbucks on a regular daily basis, whenever you're going to work or whenever you're out and you just wanted to get some coffee or some tea or whatever items that you purchased at Starbucks, using this cashback stacking strategy is a way to put some of that money right back into your own pocket. And so let us know what you think in the comments below. What credit card do you use whenever you go into restaurants or specifically at Starbucks? You could even use the Starbucks cashback credit card. And if you haven't used the cashback stacking strategy before, make sure you check out my cashback stacking strategy playlist so you can see other stores that you can earn cashback with on a regular basis on places that you probably already shop with. And if there are any particular stores that you would like me to do a cashback stacking strategy video on, make sure you mention those in the comments below as well. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.